Langroid is a multi-agent framework and seems to be a fresh take on all of these large language models and agentic software. Langroid is an intuitive, lightweight, extensible and principled Python framework to easily build LLM-powered applications from XCMU and UW Medicine researchers. So there is a very thorough educational and academic background behind this project. In this video, we are going to install this Langroid locally and then we will see how can we directly chat with LLMs plus we will also be looking at building AI agents with Langroid. Before I show you the installation and we go deeper into this Langroid, let me give a huge thanks to Mass Compute who are sponsoring the VM and the GPU which I am going to use for this video. If you are looking for a affordable GPU option then I will drop the link to their website plus a coupon code which will give you 50% discount on an already affordable pricing on range of GPUs. Now coming back to this Langroid, so as I said that you can set up agents equipped with um, optional components like LLM, vector store, tools, functions, assign them tasks and have them collaboratively solve a problem by exchanging messages. This multi-agent paradigm is inspired by the actor framework but you don't have to really worry about this actor framework. It is a very interesting research by the way and I have done um, I think one video on it last month. So all in all actor model is primarily a mathematical model of concurrent computation that treats an actor as a basic building block of concurrent computation in response to a message it receives. An actor can make local decisions, create more actors, send more messages and determine how to respond to the next message received. Don't worry, I'm not going to go into more detail of this actor framework, but very interesting if you want to read through it. And I will drop the link uh, to the repo of Langroid in video description, plus uh, you can also get the actor framework link from there. Anyway, so um, let's try to get it installed first and then we will see how the cookie crumbles. Let me take you to my VM. Here I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and the GPU card from masked compute is this NVIDIA RTX A6000. For this video, you don't need that much VRAM because I will be using it with OpenAI just to show you the workings of Langroid. But in the future videos, I will be using Langroid with Olama and local models. So stay tuned. And for that one, you would need, of course, a larger GPU with VRAM. Let me clear the screen. And this is a Conda environment which I will be creating with Conda 24.4.0. Let's clear the screen and let's create that Conda environment. I'm just calling it Langroid and I'm also activating in the same breath. That is done. Let me clear the screen. Now the good thing about Langroid is that it is quite easy to install. First, let's get clone the repo of Langroid. And we will step into it. That is done. Let's clear the screen and let's look at it. It's huge. So, but don't worry about it. It uses a lot of stuff which seems quite familiar anyway. Now let's use pip install. Langroid all. I always go with all because it installs Langroid plus its integration. Okay, so when you receive this pg config one don't really worry about it all you need to do is to simply run it like this because it depends on operating system and i have seen it happening a lot of times so instead of using this i'm just going to go with langroid and i will install the pg vector or postgres vector separately so let's wait for this one to finish and then we will install it we don't really need that one for this video but i will show you or you can get around that one let's wait for it to finish the langroid got installed let me clear the screen and for that error all you need to do is to install this pip install sci copy g2 binary and then it is going to install it locally here and that is done and you should be all good to go okay next up let's create the environment file by copying the template if it is not there that is fine maybe i will just go okay i didn't go into it that is the problem okay so let's do it now now this is good 
and now let's open this env file so here all you need to do is to just replace this open ai key with your own key and you can get that key from platform.openai.com and that is a paid option so once you set it i will save it and then clear the screen so let me quickly do it so i have set my key all is done let's launch our python interpreter and then play around with this langroid let's first import langroid i'm just calling it alias as lr and then language model from langroid as lm and now let's set up our model for the model configuration i'm just using lm.openai with openai's chat model and then we can also create the model directly something like this and you can talk with model very very easily i'm just using the chat one okay so it says that it couldn't find it error in openai gpt cache store okay okay i think i didn't put in the codes there with my api key in the environment file let me do it but i think i can ignore it because it really gave me the answer so i'm just going to ignore this then for now you see i just asked it what is the capital of new south wales and it has given me the answer here so and i'm i think this is due to the i didn't put the quotes in maybe let me put in the quotes and rerun it just to see if my theory is right and there you go so i have put in the quotes around my api key plus what i did i just commented the redis part in the dot env file and you see it is giving me now the warning about redis but we are not using that um, memory store redis so i'm just ignoring this warning so you see we got the answer at least okay so now we know how to chat with our llms using this langroid and then let's use this llm in an agent let's define the agent configuration first and i'm just calling it agent underscore cfg passing this llm let's also grab the agent on the basis of this agent cfg and then let's ask the agent a question i'm asking it what is the capital of australia these are some of the token stats and then agent has come back with the response here and then you can talk talk further with it with it you can just say agent llm okay and fiji it has given you the capital of fiji here and then of course you can programmatically use this as easily as you like now we can also wrap the agent in a task to run iterate interactive loop with the user or even other agents so let me press it enter few times let me create the task with it because if you look at it what exactly these agents are they perform some tasks and tasks in return call the tools which are the functions so i am defining the task that agent name is bot and my system message for llm is that you are helpful assistant and then you can just give it any task i'm just giving it hello and then it is starting the agent bot and it is can giving me the answer how can i uh, assist you today similarly let's define a teacher agent and let me clear the screen first and in order to clear the screen before we need to exit it because you see we in a chat loop with the agent you can even talk with it maybe let me show you quickly you see i am just talking with that agent um can you create a file uh, test.txt in present working directory okay okay so it is not telling me it is not creating it because it doesn't have that tool look at the response okay that is good and now you can just simply type q here and you can exit okay now in order to clear the screen i normally use this lambda function in python so and the screen is cleared now now let's create a teacher agent loop similar on the similar ground so i'm just defining this agent configuration let's define the task for this agent and the agent task it teaches the teacher no system messages ask your student concise number question and give feedback start with a question and then let's also define a student 
student is defined and then you can also define the task for the student and let's make teacher to ask a question from the student and then we will run the teacher's task and then it will go into the flow there you go teacher asks this and then you can even talk more what is the sum of this you can um just say i don't know okay so now teacher is saying right let's work through it together it says would you like to try another uh, and can we try playing some game instead uh, can we play um soccer You case you see here you can talk with this teacher and this has just become a loop but if you look at the big picture which is what is happening is that we have just created a multi-agent application where by using these llms without providing much data they are able to talk with each other and then go from there so I really like this um, project langroid and as i said earlier we are just using it with open ai at the moment but in the future video, I'm going to show you how you can use it with Olama. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel and share it among your network. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you.